welcome to the daily vlog. I'm here with special guest Jules. And we got up at the crack of dawn this morning. I was hoeing the garden at 6 a.m. Woke, woke Jules up at 6.30 and we went to Bella Gracci Rocks and Jules kindly drove. It's about an hour and a half down the road and <coughs> quite a scenic drive. Lots of green fields, trees. Dogs, sparrows, what else? Um, horse and carts. Horse and carts, lots of horse and carts. Yeah, nice up into the mountains, going west towards the Slovakian border. Mm, was it? I thought it was the Serbian border. Oh, the Serbian border. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long Until day. Like sun. We just got back, it's kind of 27 degrees, slightly sunburnt and knackered, exhausted, because what you think it'll take a couple of hours generally takes 12 hours. So. We spent a lot of time sitting around drinking coffee, yes. um, met a really nice guy from Stoke who is a friend of a friend who lives out in the mountains there and he's, he took us, toured us around a little bit as well, didn't he? Well, first of all, um, Jules, Chen and I climbed up the rock and it was great we were up there early because um, we were sitting on a rock eating our lunch, weren't we, watching these amazing gorgeous views and we turned around to come back down again. And there was like coaches and coaches of tourists at the other end, so mm. coming up the rock, so that was great. So mm. we, we missed that. We missed that, so Mostly. that was definitely worth getting up for. And we saw a very rare beetle. Very rare beetle, which was lovely. Which had great big antennas coming out of its head. It was twice grey with two black spots. I don't know what it is. Yeah, and twice twice as long as the the beetle itself, the antennas coming out. Mm -hmm. So what did we decide? Three rare species in three days. Mm. What was the other one? Mole shrimps. Mole shrimps. This bug, which we don't know what it is yet, and the peacock emperor moth. The mole shrimps are like this big, and they're like moles that live under the ground, but they're about that long, and they look quite weird, and they've got like two little hands at the end, and they go for tomato plants, apparently, and, you know, plants growing suddenly all the roots have gone when the plant's small and the plant can even be pulled under the ground and they're a protected species in the UK quite rare but common here yeah so that's amazing and then we went we went for coffee and met this lovely girl what's his name again Carl Carl sorry from Carl Stoke. Carl from Stoke yeah, great he's guy. been living here for seven years in the mountains he's telling us about the wolves and about the locals Forestry, how they still use the horses Horse to pull the trunks out of the forest. Yeah, really interesting um, stuff. All sorts of things, yeah, really interesting. And then eventually, after a little walk to an abandoned amphitheatre that was nestled down in between these rocks, and then we kept going downhill through a valley of trees and up meadows and found all sorts of amazing flowers mm -hmm. and that we didn't know what they were at all. <laughs> and then we came back up to cafe overlooking beautiful views. Mm -hmm. And that's where we got sunburned. And then we came back, went for coffee with Chen, didn't we? Yeah, we went via a kind of eco... Oh, yeah. Uh, ...guest houses, six newly built kind of... Eco village. Interest. It's not really a village. No, it's their guest but houses. I just wanted to chat that in uh, there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eco village. Yeah, really. One was mostly stone, one was stone and cob, one was stone cord and wood. log. Cordwood, yeah. Cordwood. Uh, another one was... Yeah, just in interesting. One of them had enormous oak beam rafter supports, which I thought were slightly wasted. Amazing, like whole. Oh, we did have a critique of it. Uh, I, I particularly we both had a little felt bit, a little, a little bit, bit, bit of a critique <laughs> at, at the use of these wonderful. Anyway, that was great fun. Now, yeah, and I did promise you that I would show you our new plumbed in sink oh, yesterday. Yeah. And I didn't, so sorry, Violet, I believe. Um, so, yeah, is that right? So, mm -hmm. over and out, lovely to uh, to chat with you, and um, I'll just show you the sink before we go. Okay, so this sink is definitely worth seeing. Has a great big, um, a great big, well, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ta da! <laughs> said sink dirty dishes amazing look at that structure 
So <laughs> thanks for reminding me and better late than never. And uh, great. Bye.